hello everyone how are you welcome to another session a 43 years old lady present with varicose veins and undergoes a saponofemoral disconnection long saponous vein strafing to the ankle and isolated hook phlebotomis post operatively she noticed an area of numbness superior to her ankle what is the most likely cause of this so after reading we have to find out the key point a 43 years old lady presents with varicose vein and undergoes saponofemoral disconnection long saponous vein stripping to the ankle and isolated hook pelvitis so this point is important that the long saponous vein is stripping up to the ankle so post operatively she noticed area of numbness superior to the ankle so we have to find out a nerve which lie located superior to the ankle and which is very close to long saponous vein so during the long saponous vein stripping there may be injury to this nerve which causes numbness to superior to her ankle so here are the options the options are sural nerve injury femoral nerve injury saponous nerve injury common peroneal nerve injury and superficial peroneal nerve injury so we have to find out one of the nerve which is very closely related to long saponous vein and it may be damaged during the stripping of the long saponous vein so let's see the picture and uh, two or three picture it is very obvious to see the nerve which is close to the long saponous nerve so here we can see this vein this is the great saponous vein or long saponous vein here we can see this is the long saponous vein in the second picture we can see this is the long saponous vein it arises from the dorsum of the foot then it passes close to the middle malleolus and ascend support and at the knee it goes somewhat back in the popliteal fossa area then it again come front to the thigh and finally this is in the upper part and it opens in the femoral vein to so the saphano femoral area and we can see a nerve is very close to the saphen the great saphenous vein here we can see this nerve it is the saphenous nerve so saphenous nerve it travels along the great saphenous vein here we can see in the ankle area and above and in this area and in the second picture here we also can see this is the saponous nerve this saponous nerve is very close to the great saponous vein so during stripping of the great saponous vein there is every chance of injury to this saponous nerve so in this picture it is also clear and it is the uh, whole of the lower limb picture both the vein and nerve here you can see uh, from dorsum of the foot saphenous vein arises and it goes upward upward finally it inserted to the or uh, it opens into the femoral vein through the saphenous opening and you can see a nerve is very close and this nerve is saphenous nerve so our final answer is the saphenous nerve injury because the saphenous nerve is very very close to the long saphenous vein and during stripping of the vein it may be damage in any part and uh, the numbness will develop in the supplying area of this saphenous nerve.